Hi everyone, we are going to talk about the problem of SQL skills using CTE, 10 tables and variable tables. We also talk about the use of the cross apply and outer apply. Well, we have another type that is derivative tables. It's uh, the easiest way that we know. It's a common, it's a common select. Uh, we have CTE, common table expressions. We have variable type tables and temporary tables. There are tables. There are variables. There are very easy ways to make a query. There are a small uh, subquery. We can use it as we can see here. We use a select from and we made a small query. When we use this form, like this way. We are just taking one result from this. We're, we're making a small join uh, using a small query. It's very simple this way. We want to talk about common table expression. Well, the common table expression it's a uh, little tricky. Uh, when you use it, the temporary result uh, can be used just once in the query. Uh, the result is, can be only be accepted after the expression. Let's see this. We use width and we use the name. This is the, the nickname that we're going to use to call the result, for example, in this part. And when we make, when we execute this, as you can see, this is the result. We are making a select from the CT expression. If we make another select here, for example, as you can see, there is goes a, a, an error. Why? Because we just can use the CT after we have used, after we just executed like this example. It's possible to use multiple CTEs, yes, we can nest a, uh, a couple of CTEs. We can use it to update, to delete, or insert, and we even can use a CTE records. Let's see this is a, these examples. For example, I want to update, I have this, I have this table employee, let's see, also. I have these employees, I have the name, last name, and the department. And for example, I want to update just one employee, the employee number three. I want to update the name to set to Gina. We have this in the employee ID, we have Elizabeth Carr. So it's okay, let's see the result. As we can see, here is the update. When we use CTE, we just can update one table. What happens if we want to update multiple tables? Well, it is giving us an error because we can update multiple tables using CTE. We can make a join, for example, to be more specified about what we want to, to update, but we just can update one table. This is very useful when we want to update uh, a specific a specific record, and we may, we want to make an, an a very complex query to find the specific record that we want to update. For example, here we have uh, a nested CT. I'm making this select. Uh, this select too. As you can see, I can I am joining these CTEs, the CTEx and the CTE depth, join them by code. I execute this. As you can see, I am using both CTEs and making a join with both CTEs. It's the same way. We're going to talk about the recursive way, for example. In this way, I want to get the employee, but I want to get the tree of the employment. For example, we see that the employee has a post ID. For example, in this example, Mike 
is the boss of all of these of these employees. John and Gina are employees of Mike, and David is employee of John. And there is all always goes the tree. If I use this, you can see Mike here has his, um, his he has the boss, for example, and John and Gina. His boss is Mike, and Carrie Borehan, for example, it's from John. And Gina, so that is from John. As you can see, I'm using the CT here. I'm using the uh, the nickname that I just declared here. I'm using here and making the join over here. What happens here? First, it starts to get the first result, and after it takes this this result it makes the second join calling this re this result when it gets no more results it the the recursive in ends and it just gave us one result variable tables well, variable tables are stored in memory like any other variable they are created and destroyed like other variables when we use a store procedure these variables are destroyed after the store procedure uh, ends and we can use it in function store procedures or just an, an, a very long query they are very recommended to use when we have uh, a small a small amount of records because when we want to store a lot of records, we can use temp tables. You see, like I said before, here here is the temp table. We declare as we declare any other variable in SQL, and we can insert in this this temp, for example, I create here. I have to select all the all these because I want to insert the information in this variable if I just execute this and later execute this I can get this server because there is no variable I have to take all of this because I'm declaring here and I'm using here taking this <laughs> the server for example I'm using this identity setting that Just the name and the last name. You have to select all, take this the result, for example, and you can see here is the result that is over here in this temp table. When you want to get, for example, this identity, if you want to get a temp table and use a, a numeric row, here it goes again, a little trick. We can use this, for example, we can use a row number that make an ID for every every record that we get as a result. When we, have, when we specify this, the order, we are saying that it's going to be uh, ordered by this, by this field and it's going to update this table, it's going to create this, this result ordering by this, by this column. For example, we can use a partition too. This partition, when we, get a, when we use a row number, we are making a specific partition. We want to enum a specific amount of, of records. For example, when I'm using this row number to row to enum every one of these records, but I'm using this row number To enum each of these employees that are assigned to this boss. One, 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 two, and one here. Because we have boss one, boss two, and boss three. We have one one record for this, and this is the second record. And here is the, the other boss. We have one record and one record.
temporary table are very useful when we want to make a, a specific use of the table because they are very very similar to the normal table that we use in SQL when we create a table as you can see we create the, the same way that we create the normal table is that in the database but when we create it for example I can make a select of this table and it's empty it's not a variable it's a temp table it's stored in the database for example you go to this part when temp db I refresh I see temporary tables I get this temporary table I can insert in this temp table and select information without any problem if I open another connection for example let's say that there is no object that's the MP why? because the temporary table only exists in the connection that it's using this temporary that, that create the temporary table as any other temporary table, as other temper as other te table, I can add columns to this table. I can delete this table, and I can drop this table. For example here, because I there's no table anymore. I create it again. I can use it again. This temporary table, when I use it inside a store procedure. When the store procedure ends, the temporary table is dropped automatically. We don't have to drop it in the store procedure. We can do it, but it's not necessary. For example, in this case, I am in this this store procedure, and when I, when I want to execute. It, I just get this. Well, I'm gonna drop the table. I'm gonna execute this through procedure. And it returns me this select that uh, that fill all this table, this temp table. And we want to make a select of this temp table. There is no temp table because the sort procedure automatically dropped this table. We have two types of temporary tables. They are global and they are local. The first one that we saw is the local. This is gonna talk about this, the global temp tables. When we create we create a global temp table, we use double hash. When we see the normal temp table, we use just one hash. We're gonna use double hash to make a global temp table. When we create a global temp table, for example, we're gonna create this one. And we, in the in the same way, in the temp db, it's going to create this temporary table. You see, you see. What is the main difference between the temp the temporary table and the global temporary table? Well, as you remember, when I talk about the this connection, I can go to another connection, and if I look for this temp table. The temp table still exists in this connection. It's different from this. For example, in this store procedure, I'm gonna drop it first. I create this store procedure. I'm going to create a temp table, and then I'm gonna insert. All the information about the employees that has no boss, that has has boss, sorry. And then I'm gonna execute another store procedure that calls this store procedure and returns the value of the temp table. As you can see, I'm dropping here the temp table. 
let's say just row 1 I get this information what about the temp table well if I see the temp table that is not exist anymore because I'm dropping here but if I update this store procedure I make this change and I execute the same I get the result if I look for the table the table still exists if I execute again I get this error because it's telling me that there is still the table as you can see this in this store procedure I create this temp table that's why I'm getting this error I have to drop the table again to make this is possible so you remember to drop it and execute again and it works well we're going to talk about the outer apply and the cross apply how we use outer apply and cross apply mm, the main functionality in outer apply and cross apply that is that they can make a join a specific join to a specific record even using the the function a function that we just have created for example in this case we're making an outer apply to a select but as you can see i'm using the information of this department i'm using the alias d i am making a filter inside the select to d department id this still works as you can see for example if we created this function then sends the id the play id and i get this information and return it in a temp table this is a function table and if we want to create a join to this function we get this error for example but using outer apply or cross apply i can make a join to this function that works for example in this example when we use outer apply is like the left join to this temp table and it only returns values for this because i'm looking for for employees that has no boss if i make a cross job a cross apply it only gets the values that has values in both tables it's the like the inner join where that we are trying to get both ways are very useful when we want to get a specific information about an employee or a department that we create a function that returns us a table and we can make a very quick and easiest way to make uh, this, this type of queries well I'm gonna tell you some tips for example in the case we want to create if we have this this table employee we want to create a temporary table we just can do into temporary table tree for example and we select all the columns that we want to use we make this say six rows we have created the table in no time Thank you for watching, this is all.